Hello and welcome to Common Rider Black Man. I am recording on my cell phone today because I forgot my tablet somewhere. But today, I'm very excited to do this one because it's a top 10 list. And quick word out right now, depending on which day this video comes out, I need to go get my laptop fixed because that's where my thoughts and script is for when I for when I review Zio episodes. And so, right now, while I'm recording on my cell phone, <coughs> I'm very excited to do this. Now, today, I will be doing my top 10 favorite Kamen Rider insert songs. And now, I am just so freaking ready. Ha! Huh. So, and I, and, and right now, I don't have any honorable mentions, so let's just get into the list. Starting off at number 10, from Kamen Rider W, Finger on the Trigger. Finger on the Trigger, it's a really catchy song. What probably stands out for me for it is that episode of W when both Shotaro and Philip are singing it. Now, I think on the actual track, too, it's their actual singer singing the song, too. And I like the I like the lyrics. I like the energy. I like the beat. The beat. Just everything together. Everything just works together from the beat to the lyrics to the style of singing that they're doing. I what I really this song really amazes me with how much Shotaro speaks English in it. And oh, that's just so awesome. <coughs> it's a good song. Huh, I, sh I should listen to that song a bit more. Because I do listen to insert songs on my phone. <coughs> now, moving on. Number nine, Sword Form Double Action from Denno. I'm not the biggest fan of Denno, but this is an insert song that I do kind of like. I don't know, and I and I can't be and I can't pinpoint as to why I like it, but yeah, I think I, but yet I think I can, and I think it's because it's hmm, it's not real, it's not Momotaro and Real Taro singing together. It's just huh. Let's start off with this. The song is a duet. And I'm, I'm automatically attracted to it because coming off a of finger, finger on the trigger. But I don't know. But And this style of, for this, because there are other versions of this song that vary from each Imogen from Deno. But Sword Form just stands out to me a bit more because of the real... <coughs> I feel like there's a real camaraderie in this song with the two singers singing together and I just really enjoy it I don't know the lyrics but number 8 Power to Terror from O's and this is the this is the insert song for Put to Terra and it sounds fucking amazing. Like, the first time, like, I actually took a moment to sit down and listen to this song. I really digged it. And I really, because here's another thing about, because here's another thing about the insert songs from O's. Like, the sounds from the belt really take part in the song. So, poop. Tyrannosaurus. It really, you can really hear that resemblance in the puto t. <coughs> wait, my apologies. For a second, I thought the song said, "Oh wait, yeah, it does." For a second, I thought the title of the song was like the chorus. My fault. My apologies. Either way, it's a good song. I really like. I like the rock energy, and. It's the and it's another duet with Eiji's actor singing and the guy who does the sound effects for the belt as well. 
I even saw a live performance once of those two singing together. It was epic. So, number seven. A A O A A O. My personal favorite song. Rise up your flag. From Gaim with Kajidoki. Oh my god. Oh my god. It goes back to one of those reasons why I like Gaim when, and when it's to the lyrics. Uh, it's just... This entire song oozes Kajidoki. And it's upbeat. It's hype. And it makes you want to go out and be... It makes you want to go out and fight evil. And I really love songs like that. Which is what most of these songs really are. But the next six really take it up a level. And I just, I love Rise Up Your Flag. It's fantastic. And it came out at like the right time too. During the right arc in Gaim. Which makes it even greater. And so... Number six, from Kamen Rider Fi's Dead or Alive. I really like this song. On my old phone, I downloaded it, and it was on my playlist. <coughs> like, Dead or Alive, it's really a start the battle and fight song. It's not the matter that's upbeat or that it's hype. It's the fact that it's all the... It's the fact that the focus of the song is is the hype the focus of the song is that it's a song that's playing when the fighting's happening and the style and it's just oh my god i didn't think of more things to say besides it's just so cool but the kind of scene that's on this song the chorus once again take your right is not to try You'll survive. Da, 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 Oh, my God. This is something... But here's another thing I've realized about Dead or Alive. Or at least songs from early, from early Heisei in general. Same go, could go for Deno. Or maybe, or maybe not. But most songs from early Heisei, they sound like very somewhat... Not similar, but if this song was played in a different show, it would match the tone very well and be amazing, and you wouldn't even notice. Not like sub, not like Saban, not like in Saban's Power Rangers, where you play a previous season's like opening in a fight in like a Megazord fight, to which has happened before. Because you see, that with some, it was different back then. They just didn't care. Whenever they write an insert song here, they absolutely do care. But thing with but the thing with Dead or Alive is the match, the tone really, the tone of all early Heisei, all it all matches. <coughs> <coughs> so next, number five. Now, yes, this is an insert song. You probably don't recognize it because you probably don't recognize it. Or maybe if you do, then you do. But number five, it's another one from Gaim. And it's called Rider Zuno Tari Ritsu. This is the song that plays the first time Gaim accessed his final form. This song makes it the a lot more higher on the list is because for starters there are no lyrics in this song it's all beat and it's amazing it feels absolutely royal that's what I probably dig the most about this song it has that royal feel to it which makes sense because Kiwami Arms is a royal scent looking final form but like what I said, there's no, there are no lyrics, just music playing, and it's the, and it's one of those rare occasions where, in a fight scene, it's good that there's no talk, that there's no lyrics in the song, and it you can just have all your attention on this fight, what's happening, 
and enjoy it because the lyrics hype make the hype a lot more but in this case it's they're directing their attention to they're directing their attention to the score and the choreography in the in the show of course not in the song since there's no choreography anywho number four time judge all number four time judge all oh my god this has to be my favorite insert song from O's it's freaking amazing like O's has great insert songs but I swear Tajador just makes its I mean time judge all well, and Tajdor is the form for Taj for Time Judge All. This is like it's like this is the best one from O's because you don't just feel hype, you feel like you feel hype, but you feel a calm sense of hype. And I think it's from the first debut of Tajdor because for starters, the motifs on Tajdor are birds. So you get a bit of a swift Tai Chi S feel. But even but even as so, it's a song you can really rock out to. And if you're fighting, you're gonna have some swift actions to it, which is phenomenal. And it's Eiji and Ankh doing this duet together. It's it's like it's like it's literally the best thing ever from O's. Which is why Tajador, it's it's the best insert song from O's, in my opinion, of course. Now, with that said, number three, the best insert song from Common Rider Gaim, Rambu Escalation. This is the song of the final arc of the show. This is the song of this is the song of the conclusion of the main writer and the secondary writer's rivalry. Like, this is a song that this... <coughs> now, with insert songs from Gimes, or with some of them, they reflect back on characters. What song reflects back on Kota is Rise Up Your Flag and How Far He's Come Along. But Rambu Escalation, it's all about Kota and Kaito and how far they've both come along for it to now reach its climax in this final conclusion. And it's not just about a rivalry. It's about what they both stand for, what they both fight for, what they both want from the world with what they have. Because with, because if with the power you have to do good or bad, what would you do with it and why? It's just, it's a song of, it's a song full of, every song has layers. And the layers in this song go back and forth in rock and roll tone. Because once again, it's both Kaito and Kota having it out. And it's fantastic. It's one of the... And it's just... It's just fantastic. And the final arc of Gaim Alone. One of my absolute... It's on a list of one of my favorite things from Gaim. Yeah, because I love... Because... Because Gaim is one of my personal favorite Kamen Rider shows, period. And there's so much into this to give me reason as to why... But, yeah, next. On now to number two. Unlimited Drive from Kamen Rider Drive. I love... This is Trideron. I believe this is the insert... Yeah, I believe this is the insert song for Type Trideron. And it's amazing. I don't know if that song plays in show because I have not seen Drive yet. But, God, it's it's an amazing song. Like, it's a song that, 
I feel like it's one of those songs that you only hear on the track. But if they actually play it in show, I would about die. Like, I would literally about die because I love this song. And another interesting thing about Unlimited Drive. If you could imagine, can you can imagine this a song being played in an anime like Dragon Ball Z or specifically Dragon Ball Z. <coughs> And there are so many reasons as to why. Because it's a final form song. And so I can just imagine hearing this song and just seeing someone going Super Saiyan like immediately. And then fighting even harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. And oh god, Unlimited Drive is amazing. I literally might listen to that song right after this. But... Number one, number one, it's, oh my god, I don't want to spoil number one at all, so I'm just going to go out and say it, number one, Tokino Oja from Kamen Rider Z.O., that song came, fine. that song is finally out today, and oh my god, it's so awesome. The first time I even heard that song, my first thought immediately was, this song is awesome. It's like, it's, oh my God. You feel like it, this song has everything. It has hype, it has excitement, the lyrics, uh, all, everything together. It looks so freaking cool. Not to mention, ZO2 is an amazing looking form. I really like ZO2. And at this point now, I've gotten used to the helmet. But, oh my god, Tokino Oja. And it's Sogo's actor singing the song. So, Okono, I believe his actor, I believe that's what his actor's name is. And it's like, when I first listened to it today, like right before this, like, <coughs> <coughs> Like, I'm so used to hearing that song in Zio's two, in Zio 2's first battle. But then when I heard, like, the first, like, melody riff of the song, I was like, okay, this is pretty good. But it sounded, it sounds a bit indifferent. Then it gets into the song, and I'm automatically excited. And, oh my god, Toki no Oja. I've waited since... That song, I've waited since that episode came out either a month or two ago for it to be for it to be linked online. It's finally out today. And God, I love that song. It's num it's my it's honest to God, my number one favorite common writer insert song. Which makes a lot of sense because it is number one. Oh my god. Oh my god, all these songs are amazing. But I have to say it right now. The top five, or top six, yeah, the top six are songs I'd flat out listen to over and over and over again. And never get sick of them. And well, that's the video. That's been my top ten Common Rider insert songs list. I feel like I've been out here for an hour, but it's only been like, as of recording this, like 19 minutes. Well, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, share this video, tell your friends about Kamen Rider Black Man. Hopefully I'll get my laptop fixed so that I can do episode reviews again, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.